Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a quick update on Grayson here. Um, hold on, let me grab him. Oh gosh. Okay. So this is Grayson. You say hi Grayson. Well, he's knocked out right now, so he's not even, he's not even into y'all right now. Can you see him? Say hi Stinky. He was born December 15th at 5.56 or something like that, I think. Um, I don't remember exactly what time. So what can I say about Grace? So today he's 12 days old. Um, and so far, so good. He is like an amazing baby. Him and Amaya are total opposites. I Like, it's it's unreal. Um, they look almost exactly like like this is what Amaya looked like but a girl version six and he weighed nine pounds four ounces and he was 19 inches long yes he was a really big baby I don't know if you guys saw my labor and labor and delivery um, video if you guys haven't seen that I'll have that link down below or you can click this eye right here and you'll be able to click on to the video itself um, definitely go watch that out he was out in like two minutes but I'll have a labor and delivery story coming for you guys. Um, maybe my next video will be my labor and delivery story. Because it was a little crazy. A little cry cry. Um, so yeah, about Gray, Gray Grayson. His name is Grayson, but we're going to call him Gray for short. He does not sleep through the night, obviously. He's a baby. But he's up every hour. Every hour. To eat one ounce. One so I'm like, why don't you eat like one and a half so we could like stretch it out to an hour and a half sleep. But every single hour he's up to eat. Um, right now I'm not, like he's not on my boob, he's not breastfeeding. Uh, my milk supply had not come, like isn't really like what it should be. And then I'm just not eating healthy enough to like pump exclusively and just give him breast milk exclusively. Like I said, I did have beer and there was a little bit of vodka, I guess, inside the pasta. Um, and then I wasn't producing a lot of stuff, which he's fine with. When I do pump and he drinks some milk, he's fine. He's happy. Um, everything's good. The only thing I will say about Gray is that he will not burp. I've never seen a kid who won't burp. Like, in order to get him to burp, I have to, like, pat his back for a really long time. Um, and then I have to lay him down. And then when he starts to get all, like, colicky and whatnot, then I lift him up. And then we go to, like, the leg one I don't know what you call it we, he's sitting on my leg and I'm like bouncing up and down and patting his back we do that then he doesn't burp then I put him on my shoulder and then it just comes out it it takes a really long time to burp him um he doesn't really spit up he's not like pooping like poop explosions everywhere he's a really good baby um he's usually up a lot now and he has a lot of like head control and he's all all over the place I've seen him smile like six times now. I mean, I know it's not like intentionally, like he's not intentionally smiling, but he does smile. I've seen it and he has two little dimples, just like mommy. <laughs> okay, so a little bit about Gray when he was born. Um, he did weigh a lot, so he was a big baby. So when he was first born, um, every single time I, had, I breastfed him, because I did breastfeed in the hospital, um, he latched perfectly, like there was no issues there, but he did have to, I had to call the nurse every single time um, he was going to feed and they had to do his blood sugars and everything, but he turned out to be fine. They were doing his blood sugars and stuff like that, I guess to see if he had diabetes, um, which he didn't or he doesn't. Also, he has Mongolian spots, but I don't think you guys can see them now on camera. Let me see. Amaya also has Mongolian spots. Let me see if I can get him to show you guys. Uh, no, you can't see it on camera. But like all right here is dark. Maybe you can't see it. Nope. But it's like dark. He has it on his back. And I also has Mongolian spots. That's just my kids thing. They just have Mongolian spots. <laughs> um, 
he's just a perfect baby he's just so content i couldn't ask for like an easier baby amaya loves him they're oh, i'm just so in love okay he's really heavy i gotta put him down oh god oh, it's like my back hurts and stuff when i hold him Alrighty. that was a good break gray was born with a full head of curly hair let me show you guys a full head of hair and a double chin like his mama. <laughs> Twinchies. He doesn't look like me at all. What else can I say about Gray? Okay, so we went to his doctor's appointment. Um, I believe it was like four days after he was born. And um, three or four days. Three days after he was born. And he weighed eight pounds, 11 ounces, and he was 20 inches long. So he lost weight and he's growing. It's perfectly normal for kids to lose way after they're being after they're born um yeah so he's perfectly healthy i did tell the doctor that i was not producing like enough milk to like give it to him so he has a formula and she's like yeah some women just don't have it that's why there's formula so i really i feel bad but i don't feel bad because with amaya i wasn't able to breastfeed at all like there was no milk whatsoever he can sometimes have it um just depends maybe like i can pump half a bottle um in one day so that's good he has that one half of a bottle and then the rest he'll have formula and he's fine so yeah guys thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and we'll be back with his two week update well we won't do two weeks we'll be back with we'll be back with his month update very soon and then we'll do monthly updates from there because i feel like babies change so much in a month don't forget to like and subscribe bye